Hey, what's up? John from VideoFort.com bringing you a new After Effects tutorial. This one is going to be pretty easy. It is about AE Render, a really awesome script that you can use to render out really large projects like this one here. Uh, this project has a bunch of layers with particular on it and uh, they're shooting out a bunch of particles and it's a really big project and it's going to take a very long time to render I'm talking like five hours so how do we do this and still be able to you know work in After Effects if we want to or maybe speed up that time slightly there's a great script called AE Render and I'm gonna put a link in the downloads uh, description uh, download link in the description uh, so it's called AE render and to get it to work with After Effects 6 you actually have to do a little trick you're gonna once you download AE render you're gonna go into where it is in your applications and you'll right click on it and do show package contents and then from there you're gonna drop down the contents and you're gonna drop down resources and then you're going to drop down scripts and you're going to open up this main dot script and you're going to open that and that'll bring you into a uh, Apple script editor and you're just going to go down to where you see uh, the set render command to CMD2 and it's going to say this path here and it'll probably instead of CS6 it'll say CS5 and you're going to just going to switch that to CS6 that's all you have to do and then you'll press command save on your keyboard and you can close Apple script editor and that will make AE render compatible with After Effects 6 now if you have another version of After Effects then you know just download the correct version he doesn't have a uh, script out for AE uh, After Effects 6 yet so you know just be aware of that otherwise uh, you're good to go with After Effects 6 now to render out the project, what you'll do is, so I've got my project with all these particles, and I'm going to go up to Composition, Pre-Render, and this is an old render that I have here. So I'm going to set everything up that I would want, so I'll go to my Format Options, and you know, I'll make it anything that I really want, doesn't matter, you can change all of this and you can even say where you want it to save to and you need to set all of this up before you send it to uh, the AE render so this is a PNG sequence that I'm rendering out so I created a folder for all the PNGs to go into the photos and then I'm just gonna say save and then what you do is up here you can see an asterisk that means that the project hasn't been saved yet so if you save your project I pressed command s on my keyboard or you can always go up to file save so now that it's saved I can actually close out of After Effects and then just go to where that tutorial is saved so I'll go into my folder and So what you do is you just drag it right on top of the AE render icon and that'll start the script and it'll pop open a terminal window and start rendering out your project. And boom, there you have it. How awesome is AE render? Your projects will be going so much faster. Well, not incredibly faster but it'll save you a little bit of time and the best part is you can open up after effects and continue working on maybe the same project or a new project um, just so you know if your computer's a little bit slower that's going to cut down uh, you know it'll make your render take longer and after effects isn't going to work super well but you know you can do it it's it's possible I'm not necessarily saying that's what you should do I'm just saying it's what you can do. And uh, if you've got a souped up computer, then it won't be a problem. Otherwise, go ahead and use this to render out your projects and save you a little bit of time. 
and uh, you know it's a nice little background rendering tool so check it out guys AE render I'll put a download in the description and uh, render out your projects and throw them in the comments and let us know what you are creating out there later guys I'm <laughs> sorry.